Hello friends, it's another amazing day in the Lord and I wanted to make this video because I've just been feeling so exuberant lately. You know, it's such a blessing to be alive in a time of testing. During the testing, it's not so fun, but when you get to a point where you overcome one test and one attack after another, then there's this sense of achievement and victory and that's the stage I'm at right now. I'm so excited about how things are unfolding and I truly feel that for myself I feel brighter better than ever before and now I want to share with you a dream this dream came last month on the morning of 15th May and it's about Prince Harry and this dream was so vivid so alive that I knew this is an experience that I just felt led to share. It was too alive. <laughs> now I've been having dreams about the royal family and prior to these dreams, I had no interest or attention on the royal family. In fact, lately I had so many dreams, I actually asked the Lord to stop giving me dreams on the British royal family. <laughs> but I am going to share this dream with you. In this dream, I was in a car with Prince Charles and Prince William. And this car was so beautiful. It was one of those vintage cars, very elegant and very old, but well-maintained. And we were sitting in the car. It was Prince William who was driving the car. And we were driving up to Prince Harry's home. And I knew that they were very concerned and very upset about Prince Harry. And they had reached a point where they couldn't seem to get through to him. And they wanted me to now step in and talk to him. So we arrived at this big home. And it had a circular driveway. And we drove up to it. And there he was standing at the top of the flight of stairs at the entrance. And Prince Harry looked so strange because he was wearing green pajamas with Chinese silk embroidery. And it just looked so inappropriate, so unfit. And you just want to look at him. Why is he dressed this way? <laughs> and then the, the second thing that I noticed was really the main thing was that he had a severed arm. His arm was broken until his elbow. And it was very important that he regain this arm. But he somehow had this notion that he could survive and function without the arm. And he had done something very strange. <laughs> he actually took his hand and had his the palm of his hand sewed to his elbow, which looked ridiculous because he had one short hand and one full arm. And Prince William and Prince Charles were just at the limit of their patience. Prince Charles was still attempting to talk to him, but... Prince William was seething with anger and this cold fury <laughs> that he couldn't even put words together. <laughs> Prince Harry was convinced that a good job had been done on his arm and he said, look, it's working perfectly. But in truth, it looked absolutely ridiculous having this palm of his hand stitched onto his elbow but for some reason he could not see how ridiculous it was he was avoiding having surgery because of the pain that would be involved in the reattachment of his arm prince harry was convinced that he would be okay without his full arm and he was saying oh it's fine it works perfectly and it looks so silly just this little hand on his elbow fingers on his elbow and i had to speak up because he wasn't listening to charles and prince william had just stopped talking to harry because he was so furious with him but at the same time they were there because they were not giving up on him yet 
I knew that I had to speak on their behalf. And I told Prince Harry, nothing artificial or man-made can compare with what God has created naturally. And I was referring to the fact that he needed his arm back. Apparently, he didn't want to go to the operation because he thought it would be too painful. And he wanted to keep those fingers and he was going to do something artificial instead, a fake arm. But I explained to him, nothing can compare to God's design. And when I said that, it struck a chord in his heart. And I felt that palpable impact of those words so much so that I felt that everybody felt it as well but Harry wanted to see what Prince William thought of what I said and he looked at him and he wanted his approval and Prince William even though he was so upset with him he nodded his head as though yes and he was he was gripping onto his mouth as though he was so upset but he was agreeing what I was saying I could see that Prince Harry had a tremendous amount of respect for Prince William. He looked up to him and he needed to see that he was approving of what I was saying. And when he saw that despite the fact that Prince William was grimacing in such anger, but he was nodding saying, yes, what she's saying is correct. That was all that Harry needed to receive the advice and it appeared to be that he would indeed go through the surgery to reattach his natural arm to his body. And that was it. That was the end of the dream. And it was so alive and so vivid. I woke up and I knew that this means something important. Now having a dream is one thing, but interpreting it is another. And I try to interpret my dreams loosely, unless it's very clear what it's about. Biblically, the arm represents strength. Ezekiel 30, 24 to 25. For I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon and put my sword in his hand. And I will break the arms of Pharaoh so that he will groan before him with the groanings of a wounded man. Thus I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, but the arms of Pharaoh will fall. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon and he stretches it out against the land of Egypt. Jeremiah 48.25 The horn of Moab has been cut off and his arm broken, declares the Lord. Job 38.15 From the wicked their light is withheld and the uplifted arm is broken. Job 49 Or do you have an arm like God? And can you thunder with a voice like his? The Lord breaks the arms of his enemies. Those he weakens will see their arms broken off. And it's only with the strong arm of the Lord that we can conquer and overcome. But Harry was missing this arm. And I believe that arm represents his family. I believe he needs his family. And I got the impression that in this dream, it was showing me that he will indeed return to his family. I don't know for certain, but it seemed like he was returning alone because it was just him. And it seemed like even though the family was very upset and at a loss of words, but they were still willing to take him back. I speak restoration over this family. I speak a blessing over Prince William. In my dream, I saw that he had a tremendous strength and maturity. He's like a much older man in a young person's body. I think he would be an amazing king and he needs the support of his father to back him up. I pray that Prince Charles is willing to give up the throne for his son I believe Prince Harry misses his family, his arm, more than he realizes. And he needs that arm. He needs to function. He needs to return 
to the role that God has designed for him because the enemy has been manipulating him. So Lord, I pray that you take over and have your way in Jesus' name. Amen.